Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me on this unseasonably warm January night. It's got up to about 50 degrees today. Uh, it's probably low 40s right now, probably 42, 43 degrees, which means it's practically summer. So I thought I'd crack open one of these. Hard Mountain Dew Watermelon. So this is the last one out of the variety pack that I got. Um, I don't know, not real sure what to expect. Um, They've all been okay, but it's just none of them have been anything that I've ever wanted to drink, so um, not really expecting a lot out of this. I'm assuming that it's going to be pretty sweet and not something that I could drink a lot of, but still, I got the fancy stemware out. I think everybody needs a good look at that. Yeah, I know, right? I'm like, like I'm fancy, so get a little bit of a hard pour on there yeah I don't know if you could tell but that is very pink doesn't help that the glass is pink so you can't really tell on the glass but the head on it's like a very very super light pink like if you had some white paint and then added just one drop of pink to it that's about what it looks like hmm oddly enough I could smell a little bit of the the, the alcohol in there And it kind of just smells like a watermelon pop or like maybe if you dropped a watermelon Jolly Rancher into a 7-Up or something, something along those lines. So I guess there's only one thing left to do. Cheers. Yeah, and I mean, it, it tastes like, like a watermelon candy of some sort. It kind of put me in mind of like a watermelon Laffy Taffy, but not... The sweetness isn't quite as intense. That being said, it's still probably just a little too sweet for my taste. I don't know. It's something I could drink, but I would just rather not. I don't even know that I'll finish this off. Honestly, I don't even know why I I top the glass off. I guess I'm going to give it one more drink just to, just to give it a shot. Yeah, I mean, it really kind of tastes like if you were able to get a watermelon flavored candy to melt in a, like a diet 7-Up. There's no Mountain Dew taste to this at all. It just, it, it tastes exactly like I said. And what, what's weird is I could smell a little bit of alcohol on the nose, but I mean, you can't taste it at all. So, um, yeah, I think the target demographic for these is probably the seltzer drinkers or high schoolers. They're just wanting s some of that, uh, 14 to 19 year old demographic maybe I, I don't honestly know why they put these out other than there are a lot of 20 something shrinking seltzers and Mountain Dew thought that they could get in on that action so I, I guess kudos to them for trying but for me it's a no go I don't see myself buying these in the future if they come out with other flavors I suppose maybe I'll do a review but it's nothing that I'm looking forward to so that's my two cents. I do appreciate you watching. And if you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below. And don't forget to tell your friends. And this is the Multi Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver. So use it wisely.